Hi, this is Mr. Silverman with a short tutorial on how to use Webspiration to start taking notes. If you don't have a Webspiration account, make sure that you click the Sign Up Now button and sign up. Once you've got an account, go to Sign In. And click Sign In. Then go to click Launch Webspiration. As soon as it comes up, you want to start a new diagram. So go to Diagram, click here. And let's say you're doing something on inventors. And you could use tags to help identify that. It could be anything you want. Hit save. So what you see here is called a node, N-O-D-E. That is an idea or a concept. If I click off to the side, I can see this and I can drag and move it up there. If I want to change the name of the node in here, I just click here on the text and you can type whatever you want. Click off to the side. To add another thought or a node, N-O-D-E, you click on this node and then you go over here to create. Click on create and it'll create nodes. Click back at the original node, click create again, and that way you can make as many nodes as you'd like. Click over here, click on create. So here you're building your mind map. Notice that if you want to put some more information in there, I'm going to click on this node and then click in there. Add something. You can also click on the link to put information. And behind here, if you click on what's called the note, it will give you a yellow sticky that will allow you to add more information. And when you're finished typing in the information into your note, click the X and it'll save it for you. If you want to see what all your notes look like, click over here where it says Outline View and then you'll see an actual outline. If you click back here again, you'll get back to the, the diagram. Now you can use these bars to move around here. If you decide you want to see everything close up, click this button, Fit to Window, and then you'll see a lot of information. If you want to get rid of that symbol palette, go to View, click on Symbol Palette, it'll go away. So now you can see your entire diagram. At another point I'll show you how to add graphics and more information, but this is the text view right now. If you want to go in to this one and change your note, click on Note, add notes to other nodes, and that's essentially the basics of Webspiration. You should never X out of the program, however. You should go to Document, Close, and now it'll save that. If you want to go to Open, you'll see all the different projects that you have out there. And here's the one I was just working on. So I could double click and get back to it. If you ever want to download one, so that you can use it on Inspiration at School, which is a similar program, go to Manage Documents. Click on the one you want to download and use the Download button. And of course, you're going to go look for your tech folder in your network account. And it's going to be saved with an extension of ISF, so hit Save. And now it will save that. So if I decide I want to go offline and get out of the web, 
I can go to inspiration or just go to my computer go to my tech folder and just open it up by double clicking on it and it'll open inspiration for you so that's a real quick lesson on Webspiration and how to download it to an Inspiration document. Have a great day.